quick antidote to talk to you about what I'm going to get through tonight in 10 minutes, if that's possible. I've never been asked to speak for 10 minutes in my life, but there you go. Doing my best. Um, my son, four and a half years old, going on 15. He's at the computer. I'm in the other room. And I think he's watching a Curious George episode. All of a sudden I hear, and four is the lowest common denominator, and you have two halves. And I'm like, what is he watching? So I went around the corner, and the little monkey's doing some math app that my nine-year-old uses. And he's no genius, by no means, but he's got himself through this app by the, by the nature of machine learning, multi-sensory kind of technologies embedded in all our life. And sure enough, he's doing something. Is he learning fractions? No, but he's learning the language. He's totally getting through it. Two weeks prior, I'm with a client out in San Francisco. $2 billion retailer, no procurement organization, no notion of indirect procurement, lost, as some of our clients are. None of you guys, of course. But. And we're sitting there, and they're, and they're beating us down. Help us find price advantage. Help us find pricing savings. And they think the path to greatness is to get us price reductions, like most procurement professionals would think. Through that conversation, they told us they were unable to save any money in IT services for an entire year. We told them based on the current market, based on what they spend, you're not going to find much savings. We apply a simple auditing approach to payables, and $5 million comes up within two weeks. Are they mature? Is my son mature? So the lesson here is very important in terms of procurement professionals. This notion that we're not good enough, that we can't be great, that we don't we don't know how to get to procurement maturity is completely BS. The world has changed. Technology is also a big deal, but it's also a problem, and I'll talk about that. But fundamentally, you need to push your organizations to understand there are shortcuts to greatness. There are simple paths to doing great stuff. I'm in a client services world where I have, we have 40 clients, big retailers, legitimately mature organizations. We walk into each one uh, all the time, and we find various types of maturity across retail. And if you're in the consulting world, some of my competitors in the audience, um, you see it all the time. And I think part of what you can take away from today is, is that I'm not going to have time to tell you all the shortcuts. But the idea that there are shortcuts and it's OK, check. The idea that you, you can find them through partners like Logic Source or like many other people out in the market, absolutely. But you can get to it by rethinking what tomorrow is. And so, Logic, a little bit about me. Mark Peretti um, spent 20, I'm a native New Yorker, spent 20 years working in global supply chain management procurement for some big retailers. Spent the last two years working for Logic Source, who is a business services firm. We basically take your procurement organizations in some way, shape, or form and outsource them to us. We don't provide million dollar PowerPoints that a lot of people do. We're not the ideas company, we're an execution company. So we'll take, for example, Gap is one of our clients, we'll take Gap, an element of their procurement organization, and execute something for them. But outsource it to us. Could be technology, could be sourcing in the market. Logic Source manages about $40 billion of spend across our 40 clients. So when we go out and buy Corrugate, we're buying Corrugate for 40 companies. So clearly we have leverage. That leverage drives results. But that's not what we sell, even though it's what people want. We're in all these different areas. We typically deal with indirect procurement. So these are the stuff that basically are not goods for sale. It's anything that doesn't touch the final product to the consumer. And we have 40 category experts in all these different areas. We manage about everything you can imagine indirect. Marketing, IT, distribution, packaging, all the stuff is not sexy, but loads of value. So through our work, what we essentially do is we walk into conventional environments, like many of you exist in. You know, we buy something, we get it, we, so, so we source it. We get it on contract, we purchase it, we pay it. It's the typical source to pay ecosystem that all of you work in. So we evaluate that ecosystem and basically tell you where you stand, here's the, here's the catch, on that maturity curve. Everyone wants to know about maturity. I, I was trained for 20 years on maturity curves. They matter. You should use them. You should apply them to all aspects of your business and your source to pay system. But fundamentally, what I'm here to tell you is, going back to my four-year-old, who I love to play Jenga with, I've learned from Jenga and from those anecdotes I told you that there are many holes, there will always be holes in your organization when it comes to buying, sourcing, contracting, paying. And your objective as leaders in procurement and splashing organizations is not to be great five years from now. It isn't to build this stack, not a Jenga, to greatness. It is to realize you are a Jenga cube or castle, and you're going to start pulling and pushing and putting back in 
and you're going to stay stable. And I think what we find a lot is people say, classic procurement, let's analyze our spend, let's capture it, let's understand what we're spending it on, let's understand how process impacts buying and supplying, and fundamentally, let's understand the DNA of what we're doing. That's the at the lowest level specifications, you have requirements that you're buying things on. That's, that's very important. But what we do at Logic Source, which is an avenue to, to my advice and conversation for you today, is that we build custom solutions for people. And we build it with the understanding that, to be very blunt, Nordstrom is one of our clients. Nordstrom has zero, for a company their size, zero technology in buying at the store, in fulfillment, knock it out of the box. But in buying, completely absent. So do we walk in and say, you're immature? No, we'll help them build purchasing technologies that help control that part of the business. But what we do eventually is shortcuts. And so I can go through those shortcuts, love to talk to you later about those shortcuts. But fundamentally, you have, we find, in Logic Source, these typical areas of opportunity. And there's a the holes in that Jenga cube. People, systems, and leverage is what you have different notions and values in. And the classic procurement supply chain puzzle is, let's get lots and lots of people. That's what supply chains and procurement organizations have done for forever. I've watched it for 20 years. It is a failed, and I'm not saying I'm down on people. People are the answer. We sell people at Logic Source. You are only going to get so far with people. But that's not your answer. The world has changed too much. Your industries have changed too much. And unless you have a lot of this, and we have clients that have a lot of this, and they still fail, it doesn't work. So we provide hope. we plug in some of those holes to Logic Source because we can get you better prices because we have leverage. But fundamentally, it's some mixture of these things and shortcuts to it that get you to an end. Here's a quick story for you that gives an example of a shortcut. We walk into all these companies. Your companies are no different. I'd say 75% of retailers we work with, these are big retailers, have a spend capture, spend analytics tool. They understand it, they analyze it, 75% of them. 75% of them have what I'll call a contract management system. Hey, that's a good thing to have. 5% of them have a supplier financing tool. You can get a supplier we can get you a supplier financing tool for about $100,000. We can teach you in a week how to use it. The irony is that's a shortcut to greatness. With supplier financing, you can completely change how your suppliers are being paid, how you're managing cost of goods, and fundamentally, oops, fundamentally how you are managing your entire payment ecosystem. So, uh, wrapping things up, there are these shortcuts. Another shortcut is something like Stan talked about. The idea that right now in the market, I got a client who's trying to buy labels. The labels pricing in the, like the labels industry, pricing is changing so much. Every quarter, it goes like this. So if you're not able to get to the market and run an RFP quickly, able to and develop, use technologies to do that, it's not about leverage, I can get a better price, it's when you go into the market. Can you get in there tomorrow? Do you have agility? Agility is huge. Agility requires technology, like Stan was talking about. And then again, do you need to be great to do that? No, you don't. <laughs> you don't. You don't. You'll look great when you get the results. But that's a good example. So in this, I put this up here as a final point. Because this is, I, t I stole this from some very important consulting company. I don't know who they are, but they are good, too. I mean, that, I mean that seriously. But we talk to our clients about this all the time. We're like, listen, you can go out and you can build this ecosystem and you can basically you know, move these levers and get yourself to some notion of maturity. But fundamentally, you can skip steps. You can stop chasing price reduction as an answer. Because you know what, after 18 months, statistically proven, the price gains you made will evaporate. So 18 months later, your CFO, if he's good, will come to you and be like, hey, I know that six cents you saved me on a dollar. I lost it. Now it's 12 cents the other way. So you can't chase price. You should be chasing total, total cost of ownership. If you don't know what it is, Google it, read it, talk to people about it. If you know what it is, hopefully it's a priority in your business. Because this is how you can create sustainable advantage in procurement, and it's easy. It's, just a, it's, a tr it's, a, it's kind of a directional shift. Not price, total cost. Leverage sourcing, figure out how to get leverage in the market. If you don't have leverage, GPOs and BPOs, anybody can sign up with them. Anybody, any company. Those guys have the buying power. You need power because you need access. Again, doesn't require maturity. 
and right technologies. Last example of that was the one about, I said about the, the paying as a solution. You don't need to have huge multi-million dollar financial kind of spend capture systems. They help, but to be able to go out and finance your suppliers differently with a very, very, in, is a right technology at the right moment. And there's loads of them. I'd love to talk to you more about that. So I'm done. Uh, I was going to go into this. You see a lot of these really sexy, incredibly complicated things happening in the world. Logic Source sees a lot of interesting things out there these days, and they're real. But I put the things in red because these are things that, in my opinion, right now, will get you to greatness, not chasing kind of the sexy technology, but chasing technologies and approaches, value engineering, that can build capability quicker and their shortcuts. Thank you very much. So, any questions specifically for Mark? Like one, one question. One question. No, no, no. Oh, we only have one question. Yeah, okay, so question. Mark will join us on a, a panel afterwards. So, hold that. Does anyone have one question? One question. All right. Okay. Damn, you did that good. So, Mark did that well that you have no questions. What's your son's name? Gabriel. Gabriel. Look at that. <laughs> one question. 